We're playing a video game. Awesome. <laughs> so weird. Juiced. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that would definitely suck the most of things, but I'm just saying, like, in the scheme of many things, it, you know, that could fly off. I don't think the whole boat could fly off, but in a remote control vehicle, there is, like, probably an engine and a, and a battery. So the only other thing that could have probably been the worst would have been the engine somehow flying out, which probably would have been incredible, but not useful for you. So these are all completed. These are all missed. The dangerous monster, Chrono Cider, has been sighted along the Arab scenic route. Bracers are filled with this branch to respond immediately to this threat. I am to note monster possesses extremely thick skin and has dizzying attacks. Respond equipped with arts. Same with a flotation device. I think I need to get a like, more detailed look at your boats. Because there's so much. Huh? What's going on? Where are all these people looking up at? I see. So that's it. Ah. The floating city. It's so huge. It's overwhelming seeing it from down here. Hello, Annabelle. How are you doing today? I almost sank with sail flotation. There's a hull, motor, an ESC, a battery, and a receiver. Yeah, I guess that makes sense for the remote control aspect of it. We're to have a receiver. Well, I can understand why the civvies are freaking out. We might not be able to do a hell of a lot, but times like this are when bracers have to step up. We gotta do our best to make this better and give the citizens some peace. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so let's hurry. I mean, what is that? And why have all the orbits stopped working? Oh, what's going on? I don't understand. Well, it's really popping off, my friends. So I believe we took care of stuff in the Saffron Tower. <laughs> it got burnt really bad. How bad's really bad? Like real, real bad. If you're a very fair skin, I'd imagine that could be quite the problem. Mr. Bushido. Hello. I like that emote. The eyes are particularly upsetting. <laughs> Not crashing in all the time. So we're back here in Bose. Right. Yeah, okay, so we I remember now. We traveled back to Bose. I kinda wanna check out what's going on at Jenna's Royal Academy. I know it's a little backtracking, but I think it'll be okay. Let's head back to Jenna's. Just to see if that school's open. Won't take long. It's called a graceful landing. You ain't never lie, Juiced. You ain't never lie. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate you guys hanging out while I wander through the trails in the sky second chapter for my maybe like 80th hours. <laughs> Face looks like a tomato. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, it's like in, you knew that would happen. It's not a you live, you learn situation. Just sometimes the day gets away from you, I'd imagine. Did you fall asleep out there? Something. Yeah, before you knew it, you were a lobster. Red like Sebastian. Okay, so we'll go down the Crone Trail and literally just go the farthest way possible, but I still just want to check out the Genesis Academy. And if nothing's there, then we can just fast travel right back. Like, not fast travel, I mean reload the game. No big diggy. <laughs> no big diggy. No big diggy. No big Dealy. That's the word. Man, I couldn't think of words. Let's walk around the beach in the zoo. Oh, the zoo's not bad. 
Jeez, you must be very uh, sensitive to the light there, Annabelle. You weren't even intentionally sunscreened. <laughs> I mean, unintentionally sun, like sunbathing or anything, just existing in the world. <laughs> just got burned by the sun and its harmful, harmful rays. Am I got a favorite animal? I think my favorite animal is a cheetah. Or at least it used to be. I haven't thought about it a lot. It's a wild claim to make the first animal that's your favorite animal be a cheetah. It has no other distinguishing characteristics other than just being fast. I do remember seeing many a National Geographic film featuring them chasing down antelope. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Bushido gets it. That fast boy be getting to him. That fast, that fast boy. <laughs> a red panda, I don't think I've ever seen a red panda. Is that because you're naturally ginger? Oh, how did I miss this? Hello, Janice Blazer. You open the chest to see a man's face just smiling at you. Unsettled, you back away and close the lid. Let's not open that one again. <laughs> like to scale one like a mountain. That would be one of the most, that would be the most, I guess, yeah, definitely the hardcore, most hardcore thing I have ever heard. That Jenna's chest. I got that Jenna's. Also, why is Ray not wearing the best thing they can wear? I guess we gotta wait for Chloe. Well, this is like really old chest I just never picked up. Which is totally, yeah, definitely super old Jenna's chest. Small red koalas. That does sound nice. Did you get to see those at the zoo? Did that make the burn worth it? Let's see. So keep heading south. Let me read the sign. Interceptor. Train powerful friendship for seven months. <laughs> friendship. <laughs> We're having good friendship. I'm very excited about that interceptor. Thank you for hanging out for so long. One of the originals, my day one interceptor. They had two. Did you take a bunch of pictures of them, Annabelle? Of those red pandas? Oh, I'm just jealous. Everybody's seen them but me. Note to self look up red pandas. <laughs> yeah, you did. Day one edition, Mr. C. You got it. Now, I'd like to hope that the product delivered and you didn't return me to GameStop at a severe loss of <laughs> loss of value. Do it. And yes, my granddad did. That's good. So it was a nice family trip. That sounds really nice. My family... And I did not do much family tripping when I was growing up. Not for any particular reason. Maybe we should have in retrospect. North. I don't need to go to the orphanage. Uh, cut through here. Speed it up. Come on. Or, oops, missed it. Dang. We're gonna still heading towards Genesis Academy to see if those doors are unlocked and those children found safe. Wait, actually, I think I need to go to Ruron first. Yeah. So I was doing the right thing, maybe. Unless it just happened in the previous screen. This is entirely possible.
There we go. Oh, sorry you're doing the day interceptor. Ah. <laughs> that was hurry as hell. Uh, what was GG doing? Playing Days Gone? No, no, no. <laughs> they stick their head through the windows and eat your food. Damn it, why is this? Gotta go. Gotta, gotta hurry and tell someone. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I mean, is she is she enjoying it or is she just playing poorly? Whoa, you're and also hello, Stardust. Hello, Dan Boo. 2K11. They got 2K11. <laughs> that fresh NBA. NBA Dan Boo 2K11. Who are your action first? Words later. We'll send these things packing. Step back. We may not be able to protect you in a fight. What are or what are Ouroboros armored beasts doing here? Bring it. I oh, never gonna protect this man. <laughs> it's not that bad, I don't think. Can I delay his turn? Yeah, I want to delay their turn to get off that crit. There we go, nice. That was a little st strategy for me. That never happens. Not a lot of damage. I guess what she can do is, I don't know, <laughs> give them the whip. Yeah, I tried to add the uh, pixel, the pixels of Shara from her S craft uh, to my Twitch emotes, and it was re it was soundly rejected, <laughs> which I deserved. They did not fake the funk. Wow, great crit. But at least that one's poisoned, which doesn't even make sense because it's a robot. I guess it's part organic robot, so. Yeah, stay over there, dude. Let's go ahead and boost the morale here. Oops, not item. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delay your AT again. Yeah, like the more delayed, the better. No more leave alive, but that's fine. We can go ahead and dual strike the poison one. Ouch. So this one at 2,000, that was at 2,400. Hit you. Yeah, uh, stay over there, buddy. Don't get it mixed up. We don't want you to get hurt. And can Estelle? Nope, not enough uh, CP. Rip. Ouch. Ouchies. No need to AT delay, though. No more dual strike, but that's okay. And I don't think she has the damage to do anything. Well, 300 is better than nothing. Yep, you do that. You keep walking away. Rip. That's that. Let's move out. Oh, and um, big shout out to Crimson Striker, I believe, on YouTube, who's the one that uh, originally told me to even play this series completely instead of Cold Steel, because it started Cold Steel. Um, shout outs to you. <laughs> And also informed me that I should check out Joe's Academy right now, because uh, there's some side action here. Phew, that was rough. Well, yes, glad we managed to make it in on time. Let's take tacos again, that sounds good. I had chicken and broccoli. You saved me. 
Estelle and Joshua, right? Sorry, you really pulled my bacon out of the fire. Hey, no big. <laughs> Look at that. Estelle said, hey, no big. That's writing. It's part of the job. More importantly, what happened? Those monsters aren't from this area. Well... The Academy Royal Academy's been attacked. What? Please come down and tell us everything. Okay. I was... I was hanging around behind the old schoolhouse ditching class again. Suddenly, these soldiers' guys in red armor break down the front gate. Hello, Elodia. How are you doing today? How was your stream? You streamed today, I believe. Suddenly, these soldiers, guys in red armor, break down the front gate. The chair that came up to ask them what the hell they were doing, but, but, but they, they shot the guy. Oh, that's all good, Elodia. I know that you stream forever. You stream wrong time with all your streams stamina, so understandable. Get some rest. But they shot the guy. Oh, no. Never thought they'd have the guts. When I saw that, my, my mind just went blank. I ran and I ran like I wanted to get some help, but where was I going to go? All right, I think we're understand, we understand the situation. Listen closely. Can you follow the road to ruin and tell the guild secretary there, Gene, what happened? Tell him that Estelle Bright's team is going to investigate the academy. I'll, I'll try. They got these weird, I don't know, puppet things too, along with the monsters. Be careful, okay? Boy, they really have this whole place locked down. This is where children, oh, so geez. Those guys seem like a real problem. Stuzzy, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> we came as soon as we heard. The situation Mickey described sounds horrible. Mr. Gene contacted the Relic Army, but he said it could be a long time before reinforcements arrive. <laughs> Damn it. And keep in mind, Army grunts these days only train to use over weapons. They're screwed right now. I think we'll have to settle this one ourselves since we got, all got actual hand-to-hand -hand training. They're likely, they'll, they've likely taken the whole school hostage as well. If we move in carelessly, we could hurt more than we save. That's the problem, isn't it? It'd be nice if we had a picture of what was happening inside, but how? Everyone waiting here a bit. I'm going to scout out inside this academy. Oh, the Black Fang is going to come out again. Joshua. What do you mean? My mind and body were molded to be the perfect spy and assassin, remember? I should be able to sneak in and get an idea of what's inside the school and the conditions of the hostages easily. Joshua's got a point. Hmm, if you can do it, it would certainly help. But, but, but won't it be really dangerous? I'll be alright, trust me. I've infiltrated places far more heavily guarded than this. You don't need to worry, Tita. But, 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 Joshua, you're going alone no matter what. The odds of success are much higher if I do this myself. Trust me on this, Estelle. Let me go on my own for this one. <clears throat> okay. I just want to ask one thing. You remember the promise we made, right? Oh, Estelle, don't get all softy now. To walk together to the end, right? Don't worry, I'm just wandering off to pick daisies for a moment. Bleh, these two. Okay, chill out. You go pick those flowers then, mister. Joshua, be careful. I will be, I promise. Alright, I'll be back as soon as I can. He just runs off into the forest. Caw. Hey, you really okay with this? <laughs> Fine, Dan, I mean... I do understand they've had they've been building up these emotions for a long time, so it's like they're still in that honeymoon phase. I'm just wandering off to pick some daisies. <laughs> it's precious. Yeah. If I insisted on going, I'd just drag him down here. Besides, I believe in Joshua. 
Estelle. <laughs> You've grown up quite a lot, Estelle. In a special way, apparently a woman can only grow up by liking a dude that's gonna leave her. Whoa, that's deep. Maybe a lot of women do, or a lot of people in general do, grow up based upon heartbreak. Yeah. What you gotta do, Joshua? Don't make me control. I should use the buildings for cover and stay behind them to avoid being seen. They're gonna make me control this, aren't you? I need to find where they're keeping the houses and try some kind of head count of the enemy. Don't make me do it. I don't want to sneak. Two enemy soldiers in the boys' dorm. I need to check every building like this. Oh, here. Look at that. I get the opportunity to play this part. Fun. Should have never came back to the school. We got a, a boy here. Two male students and injured faculty member. Looks like he was shot. His injury doesn't seem life threatening though, which Joshua can interpret by looking through a window. Think ideas for little mercies, I guess. No choice, I'll have to dash across. <laughs> okay. So that's how we get down now, Joshua. Three boys in there. Four boys. Four danger boys in there. Four soldiers. Looks like they're being kept in reserve in case something happens. They may be keeping the hostages on the second floor. However, will we find out? Go in the front door. Oh, Robo Dog. There's someone patrolling the front. I should go behind. <laughs> I mean, apparently, this guy. They got some big boys on their big boy guns. How are you doing today, also, Sky? I feel like I haven't chatted with you in a while. I haven't given you a hard time recently enough. Gilbert, my boy, what do you think you're doing? What would drive you to such violence? <laughs> Two reasons, really. The first is that martyrs are simply to case cause further chaos in this pissant little kingdom at my discretion. My beloved alma mater seems a perfect candidate for a little shakeup. So, Gilbert. I think I do remember him. Mm. I'm good, Sky. Enjoy my time playing trails in the sky. It's a good time, man. What happened to you, Gilbert? You were so dedicated to peace and your political aspirations as a student. When did you lose that passion? Ideals are just that, ideals. A little thing called reality has a way of trampling them in the mud. Money and privilege are everything. It became so obvious serving as Dalmort's steward. I intended to eventually depose that doddering old fool and take over as a successor. Thanks to everyone's beloved Bracer Guild, however, that goal was smashed to dust. Hey, Ricardo. Welcome. How's it going? So I decided to take a different route to wealth and power. How foolish. And I say whatever you wish. That's my other goal. That Dean Collins would be the princess. According to rumors, which I knew would be fact, old man, she's studying at this academy. I don't suppose you'd be willing to tell me who she's pretending to be. I have no idea what you're talking about. All I can say for certain is that no such girl is present at this academy. You're looking in the wrong place, Gilbert. Oh, thank you, Ricardo. I appreciate that. I'm doing my best. Uh, trying to play the fool into the bitter end. So be it then. With the phones dead, I have all the time in the world. I'll just have to look over the students myself until I find her. Good. Good. So he's the one behind all this. Makes sense in hindsight. He's um he's an alumnus of the alumnus of the school and is familiar with the layout. 
Let's save so we never have to watch that scene again. Hey, thanks, Ricardo. I'm doing doing well. That means a lot. I'm glad that you know you're enjoying it, and hopefully everybody feels chilled and calm. I don't see if the teachers. They're most likely being held elsewhere. Thanks, Sky. I appreciate the host, my guy. I don't see any teachers either. No one in there. There's a sharp angle, so I can't tell, but I hear someone in the hallway. Most likely a guard on watch. Ah. Oh, thank you, Stardust, for the host. I appreciate you very much for that. The best. What? Did I hear something? Over here. And of course, again, I'll say I appreciate everybody for hanging out with me tonight as we journey through the trail in the sky. We're not really journeying through the trail in the sky. We're playing the game, but I mean, nobody's effectively trailing in the sky or anything. This is, this is like a title, you know? Quiet, Hans. Don't be too loud or the guard will notice. <laughs> right. But come on. I'm not supposed to lose it when I'm when you come out of the blue like that. Uh, sorry. Hey, uh, is it somewhere out the window? <laughs> Oof, Jill, stop pushing. Okay, just don't yell or, or anything. Got it? Uh, I mean, it's probably because they like use airships a lot, Star. Oh, come on. You think they're great, Jill? Head of the student council would scream over a little... Uh, Yeah, buddy, Ricardo Star is my moderator and my bestest friendest. Hans quickly covered Jill's mouth. <laughs> I mean, what about me? I'm playing Ace Combat. <laughs> so you are making trails in the sky, Sky. Sky is making trails in the sky. Jimmy! Air. How's it going, my friend? I'm going to play, uh... Air's game that he's building on stream. Whenever we can get that organized and coordinated, we're going to check out Air's handiwork. I knew you were going to shout. Excuse me for being thrilled. Joshua, you impossible dummy. You impossible dummy. What the heck are you doing here? It's good to see you, Jill. I don't have much time, so let me explain very quickly. Gosh, explain how the group found out the takeover from Mickey and what they were going to do about it. <laughs> Thank you, Ricardo. I appreciate that host. You're the best, man. I appreciate you. I forget to mention it's a hardcore hentai game. <laughs> well, hey, it's any time's a good time to get banned. <laughs> you know, it's all good. Anything for friendship. Josh, <laughs> this guy, you dumb. Josh explained how Groot found out about the takeover for Mickey and what they're going to do about it. I see now. It's going to be that nasty man stream. I really did make another uh, Twitch account, by the way. I haven't used it yet, probably, but there's a nasty man where I'm going to play nasty games. So basically, you guys are looking for a way to get out of this. Exactly. I thought I'd let you know so you can keep the others calm. Yeah, good call. We'll do what we can. Oh, of course, Harry, my buddy, and I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to play him. Can we do anything else to help? Let me think. I could use a list of all students, faculty, currently present on the grounds. It would help a lot when we move in. Right, of course. Yeah, okay, we'll write a list up right now. Jill and Hans compiled the list of the staff and the students on the grounds and slipped the paper through the window. Jeez, man, this these guys are like pretty on their grind for having seen someone get shot and, and all that stuff, man. Joshua had the list of hostages to the bracer notebook. Thank you. We'll be moving in within the hour. Just hold on until then. Yeah, we will. You guys be careful, okay? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Witcher 3. And once things are over, let's get something to eat at the cafeteria. Really, Hans? You're just hungry like that? Witcher! That's it, Mr. Bushido. I'm glad you remembered that. <laughs> the Witcher! And once things are over, let's get some eat out of the cafeteria. Yeah, Hans, like I was saying, you have your mind too much on food. I gotta hear about what you've been up to. That bathhouse. The first scene of The Witcher, really, with him in that tub. Aha, uh -huh, alright then. Go easy on me, okay? Boy, they sure are confident they're gonna be able to get out of this hostage situation they're in. Cutting up, making plans as if there's not a risk in the world, but I mean, those guys definitely shot somebody. Okay, there we go. Hey, Razor. <laughs> Goon bags. I don't hear anyone in the waiting room. I think it's safe to say it's empty. <laughs> oh, man. What does LMAO mean? It means laughing my air out. Three girls. The others must be in the main schoolhouse. Oh, you don't have to do that air. It's all good. But I appreciate it. We all we do is crap around. Bull crapping in there. Chatting and playing, talking about games, which I think you'd be down for. Oh, <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> Twitter means soldiers on watch. I don't hear anything from other club rooms. There's someone patrolling in the front. I should go behind. Okay, then we just, uh, oh, we check this one. No, I don't want to look again. Okay, looked at that, looked at that. And. Okay. So I'm supposed to exit now, I guess. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't. Oh, what was the comment? <laughs> I don't recall saying anything about your. Uh... I don't recall saying anything about your PSN um, achievements. <laughs> Thanks, Ricardo. I don't need to look inside again. No. They're still talking. I should elsewhere. Got it. Are they thinking I should, like, try to go through here? But I get it's locked. Beyond here is the old school house. Hmm, just in case. Joshua Paul has tooled and served them into the locks. But, oh, yeah, because you're a persona. Your persona achievement. You reached a, a high level of, of friendship with someone. Yeah, ball has tools and turn them into the lock. So that's yeah. <laughs> that's what I was doing. That's what happens when you laugh hard, all your air comes out. Alright, I've scouted the entire campus. With so few men, I could probably No, it's still not time for that. I should get back to the others. Cool. Thanks, Air. Uh, that's the situation on the academy ground, for what I could tell you. Pretty thorough. You did a good job scouting. I know, right? I did great. Yeah, now we should be able to put some kind of plan together. So that Gilbert idiot is the one who led the attack on the academy. And he was seriously trying to kidnap Chloe? He had the balls for that? <laughs> I was wondering um, who you picked, Sky, to, to maximize your relationship with. A lot of times, letting air out feels out. Uh, letting air out feels good, especially when you eat broccoli. I should have thrown him off the damn deck of that airship when I had the chance. The man who was once a peaceful secretary for mayor is now one of Ouroboros' jackals. 
a member of the lead who falls to villainy when they encounter hardship. It's an old, old story. That describes them all right. Still though, what do we do? It sounds like he brought along a fair number of Jaegers and he's got archaisms and armored monsters too, right? Now if the archaisms are working and the Jaegers and the Jaegers have guns then that means the society can use orbits even though the shutdown phenomenon, right? <laughs> Mary. I don't remember the uh, character's name, but it's probably if for some reason my mind keeps thinking about Tales of Berseria characters, which can't be it. Is that the one you meet first? It's Stardust. No, these are bad names. <laughs> that that means society can use ornaments even though the shutdown phenomenon, right? Oh crap. Looks like they're using something similar to zero field generators. And they definitely have enough for each man and machine. Oh, Makoto. Alright, Sky. Alright. I see you. So they're free to hose us down with as much gunfire as they want. Not the best situation I've ever been in. The obvious answer is to split into two groups. One group preys on their front and distracts them while the other group infiltrates from the rear. All right, Annabelle. It's a need to get dealt in the morning. I'll take care of yourself and I hope that you feel better from your sunburns and you put proper ointments and creams so that your skin fully recovers. All right, Ricardo, have fun on your date. Catch you later, my friend. We're too short of manpower to try that safely, though. From what Joshua describes, I'd want no less than six people to attack their front, any less with a suicide. I agree. If we have six people, we should be able to draw their troops on standby out without getting killed ourselves. But six people? That's everyone here now. We're just going to have to wait for the Royal Army to get here. I believe we may be able to fill the gap. Uh, the Bracers. Oh, whoa, endless everyone. Aha, uh -huh, perfect time. Eh, we actually just stopped in at the Ruin Branch a bit ago. Oh yeah, I beat Persona 3. I beat the heck out of Persona 3 back in 2010. Yeah, it has to be 2010. Oh yes, does he? That's right. You gotta fill that gap. If you, <laughs> if you know, I mean, yeah, you, you get it, Mister Cunningham. Also, big shouts, does he, for being a a dungeon crawler with me? Me and a uh, siren fire along with Stuzzy. Did a little bit of Final Fantasy fourteen in last night. Dark. You. Ah, uh, Dark Revealer wanting to reveal secrets today. Sky, you shouldn't race quite P3, it's very good. He's gotta kinda stick through it. It can get a little grindy though. Hey, we actually just stopped in the ruined branch a bit ago. Once we heard the story from Gene, we came running as fast as we could. I think this is another one for the Divine Providence column. Yes though, thanks for saving me back at that lab. You really saved me from a lot. I owe you. I was so, so angry with myself when I heard they captured you. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, it ended up fine. They didn't rough me up much. Besides, I got Joshua back in the whole mess. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> it's been forever, Joshua. Did you forget about your sterling role model endless? Ha, <laughs> no, of course not. Did you? Yes, I did, Stardust. It sounds like you helped Estelle a great deal while I was away. Thank you for everything, Endless. Well, if anything, she was helping me out, I think. What I really want to do is tell you all about just how lonely Estelle was without you. <laughs> Dark. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, Dark, you're still a moderator here. Though, so, don't let the power go to your head. <laughs> Well, that's also true, Sky. But all you have to do is just don't, don't, don't get hurt, and die. Be careful. Be conservative with your dungeon crawling. And make sure you bring a bunch of items for yourself, because those kids get tired. What I really want to do is tell you all about. Yeah. Okay, got that one. 
Or wait, she is full of lies and you shouldn't believe a word she says. Eh, just kidding, just kidding. Besides, I don't think we can really afford to shoot the breeze much here. You are the Lord of Twitch Dark. I can actually agree with that one. Yes, yeah, seriously. Joshua, mind filling everyone in on the situation inside? Of course. Yeah. I, I think that's a good word for it, Dan. It's a slog, but it's worth it. Yeah, I... Once you start getting your personas together and mixing and matching and getting, like, the skills the way you want them to be. Also, Interceptor. I see. <laughs> you summon the summoning song. I see a grim situation. I agree with your plan. A two-pronged assault will resolve this quickly. Well, now we got ten people, so... Six to assault the front, four from the rear. That work? Seems like a good split to me. The only real question is who goes charging at what? Well, in that case, I can lead the infiltration from the rear team. Oh, in that case, I can lead the infiltrate from the rear team. No offense, but I think I know the academy better than anyone here at this point. Except perhaps for me, it's though. Remember, I did just scout the entire grounds. Mind if I go with Stell? Shappy, again, you got me. Yo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. Shabby's the best. Everybody already knows it. It's just a statement of fact at this point. Thank you for the raid. Uh -huh. Friendship train, of course. How was your stream? I had to adjust my glasses because of the excitement. Enjoy that cleaning interceptor. <laughs> Hey man, take them. I mean, all we pretty much share a lot of people anyway. You've you've introduced so many people to my stream, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> Who doesn't deserve it, Dark? Except you got a friend on the way. But uh, yeah, man. Hello, everybody. Dino, of course, Jin. Nah, Lord, GNA, old homie, rhythmic. Sergeant, and of course, my dear friend Sheppy. Hope you all are doing really well. Mind if I go with Estelle then? We did promise to go into a glorious battle together once. Endless. Given how quick you are, it's a good idea regardless. You three are all scrappers, though. The best choice for a fourth would be someone who can support you. Allow me to serve that role then. I need Norm to use my arts. I can aid Estelle's group with them. Kurt. <laughs> Am I sponsored by company? You know, sometimes I feel like it because I have two sweaters that are just like this. And, uh... I always wear them on stream. I should look for a sponsorship deal. <laughs> Do we, Dark? Do we? Do we, though? <laughs> I will have that groove, Sheppy. I will obtain my groove forever. That's all I got. That's a lot of rain, Ricardo. But it's all good. <laughs> That's right, Kirito. Also, how are you doing today, Kirito? Hope you're feeling better. Hope you're slowly improving over time. And I know that you have more going on in the future, but I'm sure that'll go well. Thank you, Kurt. <laughs> Looks like that's our teams then. Oh, on that note though, Karna, you're gonna be all right, your weapon. Oh, you mean my orbital gun? That seems like it would be infected by an orbital field. Yeah, losing that was rough. I've had to fall back on this noisy old thing. Regular handgun. <laughs> Bad dad. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Kirito. That's the path to recovery right there. <laughs> it's like Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, losing those rough. Yep, with noise over. So she's got a regular sniper rifle, I guess. It's, yep, a, a sniper rifle. I lost my mojo. What in the world is that huge gun? That's a... Uh... <laughs> it's an old Reinford model. Gunpowder assault rifle. 
Eva, an old friend of mine who runs a weapon shop, lent it to me. She collects like things like this and let me run off with it for a bit. How's that? <laughs> uh, I don't know, Ricardo. This game is pretty challenging in of itself. A gunpowder rifle. Now that's old school. Hell yeah. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen any farms that use gunpowder lately. Wait, Tia. That Gatling gun of yours is a gunpowder weapon, isn't it? Reinford reference. Oh, that's like another character in the trails universe. The connected trails universe. The person that might have given her that real gun. I wonder if I'll learn about them in Cold Steel or another game in the future. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to continuing on through this series, even as we go through Trails the Third, which Admiral may or may not like. I can't tell if Plutato likes it or not, but I'm sure I will. Wait, Tia. Yeah, it's, we got that. <laughs> yup. It's part of Grandpa's treasured collection. Honestly, it's far heavier than an orbital gun is. Gun, it runs out of ammo in seconds, and it's just hard to use it every way. It's got plenty of stopping power, though, so it'll be fine for a quick strike like this. Mm, yes, it sounds like you'll be alright in the assault group. Let's start the plan, then. Okay. We'll do our best. <laughs> Cute little girl with a Gatling gun. This is the worst. Like, uh... Change your party equipment, that's assault. You won't proceed with a team of Estelle, Joshua, Analyst, and Kurt. Favorite car. I don't think I have one. Wait, no. No, I don't think I have one. I'm not really a car person. I gotta keep it real. Temporal arranging the party. You remove equipment from other members to equip Aimless and Kurt. This blows, dude. I don't want this problem at all. So we have to pick these two. Roger. Rainy. Favorite pants. Apparently black dress pants. Roz, hello. <laughs> I also like that mode a lot. Yeah, I don't I don't want Kurt. Even and Ren. But you're somebody, Chef. You're somebody, damn it. Let's do it! I just picked the people I already had. Or do I have to actually pick those two? Change your parts of You'll receive with a team of Estelle, Joshua, and listen, Kurt. So they're going to make me pick Endless and Kurt, right? Is that what they're saying? And then I can unequip my people I currently have and equip them. I think that's what they're saying here. Yeah, so. Oh, I, I hate this, Rainy. I hate this. I just like decided, oh, let's go check out Genesis Academy and then all hell broke loose and now I gotta do this. I mean, do I have to equip it with ornaments as well? Stardust, I think you, of all people, know the simple fact of having known me in real life that I own zero pairs of jeans. And no jean shorts. Alright, let's put this one in and then these ones. Okay, change equipment. Why would they have you do this? This is peculiar. Okay, well, neat. Oh wait, maybe I have one pair of jeans since I've had I've had since 2010. You're correct. Not a jeans dude. Dress pants. A slacks man. Analyst, what do your stats look like? What do you want to do? 777 on strength. Not super strong. But about the same as, uh, there. Should you carry it down? I mean, I don't think I have a choice, right? Like, you have to use Kurt at this point. But maybe in the future, you get the option. Because it looks like we're going to have Joshua, Estelle, and Les and Kurt regardless. Um, let's do stuff to prevent. Let's do this buzzer. Prevents faint and sleep. 
Um, I w- I wear them. I've worn them once in the past year or three. I don't know. Kurt seems okay. I think Kurt just probably gets shade, gets shaded. Poison and freeze. And anything well, only a practice weapon, so that's not gonna be it. And what orbits do you have? I guess I'm gonna cry as I do this. But maybe it'll mean that when I come back to it I'll remember better. Not that she really has anything high in honor anyway. Just mean seriously. They will go down the garbage chute. Leave the green. Anything higher than evade two? I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, Kirito. That's a good move. Um, she's pretty neat. But on top of that, the problem becomes like all the times they make you split the party. Cargo pants guy are in. Um, this game uses not necessarily for everything, no. But um, there's a lot of different music in it. But from game to game, they use a lot of the same tracks. Um, as far as for your staple activities like winning victories in battle, things like that. Mm, what can we do? I don't think she needs EP, but she might need a little bit of hit. Who are you playing Uno against Stardust? I think I missed that. I mean, I saw you mention it earlier, but I don't think I saw who. <laughs> Congratulations. You like pockets? I hate having anything in my pocket. I don't ever like, oops, missed this one. I never like having anything in my pocket. I can avoid it. I will take it out. I'll just do that. Boo pockets. <laughs> the junk gut movement. Ah, I see Stardust. Change party again. Alright, get on the bench. Unless you're good, and then we'll see who to rob for stuff. I guess it'll be Aggie. Oops. Oh. Ready? Leave Try it again. Me. Okay. Boy, this sure is lame. <laughs> yeah, not exactly a lot of space for pocket storage. Kurt. Freaking Kurt, huh? Well, what do you have here? Master Beads. Master butt beads. Letter headbands. Put those on. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. Put these gladiator headbands on old Kurt. <laughs> and that's all that matters. You gotta have style. Oh, Aggie, I'm gonna hate doing this. Like again, maybe there's a possibility that, I mean, almost, it's almost guaranteed that if I re-equip these people from base, that... Hmm. Okay, yeah, thanks, Rainy. That's good thinking. Thanks for letting me know that, because this seems like it might legit suck a little bit. But I kind of expected that this episode, this session of gameplay would be... A bit of grinding. So attack. Then attack four. We need a double slot for that. Maybe put that in here. <laughs> Legit suck. <laughs> oh wow. So if I put a defense. Actually, you know what? Why would I want to put any more defense on him? I mean, I want his strength to be up. 
I don't want to, uh, to lose any of that. It's got plenty of red on him. Is that really true, Mr. JRPG? Huh. You don't have, I don't have a choice, right? Like, I have to use them. Because I'm hearing a lot of negative Yelp people reviews about him right now. Um, let's see, don't miss. Home frosts do sound amazing. People are Kurt haters. Not defense. Let's give you some mini green. Yeah, he probably doesn't need AoE. That's up his crit's chance. Whatever, Kurt. I don't like you. The crowd has swayed me. 939 and 83. Okay. Get rid of Kurt. Change party. <laughs> Legit suck three. Acknowledged. Suck another day. Let's go. I think the first one's gonna be the best one. Sure. Yep. And so the guild's plan to liberate the Genesis Royal Academy was set into motion. I know the internet swayed me. Aggie, Sherazard, Zen, Kara, Grand, and Tita create a distraction at the main gate to lure the Jaegers out. While Asel, Joshua, Analyst, and Kurt struck from behind to free the hostages. <laughs> Aaron's like, let's slam dunk that one. Let's dunk that one in. The infiltration team has been given remaining zero field generators that have been placed in inventory. So, hand wave, hand wave while these people can use. Or bent. This is true. <laughs> That's blue about Kurt. I don't know. I can't. I can't get the. I can't get the real deal about how Blue feels about uh, Trails, the third chapter. The hell is Gilbert thinking anyway? All we get from taking over a place like this is a freaking. It's freaking out a bunch of rich kids. Yeah, if we really want to stir up some chaos, we attack one of the little rat holes these hicks call villages. It's like you said, though, man. The brats here are loaded. Rumor even it, it, it ha rumor even has it that a member of the Liberalian royal family attends this joint. What, like that Claudia chick? Uh -huh, no way. She's like in the palace or some shit. Whoever it is, though, the phantom thief, we're freaking obsessed with the chick who goes to this joint. That's Gilbert's game plan. Find out who it is and deliver. <laughs> I think your ankle hurt. He's just a sexy cur. <laughs> yeah, this dialogue. I get it, yeah. We could score some major points with Enforce if we do that. But man, that just makes things even worse. If the chick is that important, the Bracers and Army are going to come right at us. We better be ready for some major shit to go down. Shh, don't worry. We just hit this place. It'll take them a while to figure it out. Besides, the orbital based guns ain't gonna work unlike ours, remember? Gonna be like shooting range if they take us on. <laughs> yeah, good point. Oops, they're running up and dumping on you. Those look like uh, the Wanzers in Front Mission 3. The Wanzers. Shit. Powder guns? The hell they get that junk from? They'll bury us in bullets at this rate. Go get the friggin' reserve, guys. It's begun. Yeah, we gotta hurry. I unlocked the back gate when I was here earlier. It should open easily. Very good. We should infiltrate each building swiftly and rescue the hostages in each. Oh, Rainy, you can't let it go. I played through a lot of Front Mission 3 recently, and I feel like the RNG is often in your favor. Those roof ups come up easy. We should infiltrate each building, swiftly rescue each house each. Remember to check off those rescued from our list in the notebook. Got it. Let's go. 
save. Down here. Why not? And there. And one of these. This one. Our mission is good. We can't waste time. Fine. Who's gonna attack us before we get to the gate, huh? Run up. Yo, check it out. <laughs> All right, so we got kids, like in buildings and stuff. There's some number of. Oh yeah, wait, no, they got all the people out of there due to the distraction. Yeah, you sons of. There they are. Here we go. That cat was not there. Ouch. Oh, I forgot to heal that night. Bad start to a battle. Gun wielding Jaeger, accurate at long range in a serious threatened group combat. Well, then I guess that means we gotta take this dude out of the group. It's morale out first. Ouch. Stop. So, what do you have? The power to hit a man with a sword, I think that's what we call this. It was pretty effective. Oh snap. Too far. See that spear does powerful damage too? People are hating on Kurt for no good reason. That boy is out there doing his very best. <laughs> yeah! Get dropped off, dude. Let's see. Go ahead and do that. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, and I, I definitely did that. I definitely um, unequipped his defense this time. I'm pretty sure. Oops. You got a uh, maybe a line attack? That'd be dope. Yeah, Rainy. Your boy was thinking for once. It's your boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna say any more words. Can I get both of them? No. I don't want an area one. You got a single attack. Strikes in my vital KO 20%. Let's try this. See how you're feeling, Bob. Looks like a Final Fantasy Tactics move. Like one of the moves Gav Garen can do. I forget what that move's, move is called. I think it actually steals health as well. Let's see what we can do. Oh, they don't get, like getting stabbed, do you? Eh. Ah, Shadow Spear, alright. Then the Shadow Spear, I'm telling you, looks a lot like a move that Gafkarian does in um, one of his abilities in Final Fantasy Tactics, which. I just know because I played that game a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Take this opportunity to throw a tear old bomb to somebody here. Run through me. Boy, you're fast, Joshua. Do I have a Kyria on me? Probably. Yeah, and I will admit to you, my boy Rainy, it is, uh, it's real slow. And, like, I don't mean that in, like, the story sense. Like, the actual combat in Final Fantasy Tactics is so slow. I didn't recall that till I recently tried to play through that again. Because I have it on, like, my phone and, like, on the Vita. And every time I pick it up, it's just like, man, this combat turn, all the stuff is just so slow, dude. But it's still good. <laughs> it really is like just everything is. That game takes its precious time. Good job, Kurt. All right, let's do a little healing here. Who has magic powers? And don't mind using them. 
Nice. That's... Yeah, let's be safe. Better safe than sorry. Hey. What's up? We're just hanging out. We didn't know we are being uh, held hostage. Who are... Estelle and Joshua. Aha, that's us. Hiya. You're all safe, thank goodness. Estelle explained the plan to free the captives. Now I see. <laughs> For the absolutely, definitely not uh, emulated PSP version. Yeah, I, I know there's two, like at least two different versions of that Final Fantasy Tactics, like the War of the Lions and then the regular version. I don't know. Thank you for your assistance. Is there anything we can do to help you rescue the students? We appreciate the thought, but the enemy is a professional mercenary company. The best thing to do is remain here until we certain it's safe. I see. You're right. Please, take care of the students. Leave it to us. I still check the names of Mr. Ratio and Mr. Effort off the list. I love that their names are that. So I'm in here. You guys got anything in these lockers? Just like get my Resident Evil on right now. There's a version that isn't this version. Yeah. Yeah, Rainy. There's more versions here. God, can I loot your body? That's where I check the girls' locker room. Don't have to tell me twice. It can't be. Estelle and Joshua, what on earth are. Ahaha, <laughs> sorry to surprise you. Actually, Joshua explained the plan to free the captives. I see, so you're. Thank you so much for coming to free us. So how are things outside? Is there still fighting? They're fighting at the gate and Jaeger's still roaming the grounds. The situation is dangerous. I must ask that you remain here for your own safety until we secure the school. I see, if we must. Please, I beg you, make sure the students stay safe for us. Oh, I know, please take these. Is it? Mighty Essence. Miss hm. Deborah. Whoa, are you sure? It's thanks for rescuing us. Now being a hero is nice, but take care, you two. Thank you, we'll be safe. I still check the names of Deborah, Miss Wyola, and Miss Milia off the list. Check these lockers. Check them. That's how you know the battle's happening here. <laughs> Smooth the girl. <laughs> oh, Ren. You can't say that about our pseudo lead character video games live what's that yeah. son of a bracers here so how are they not aware of the bracers that are definitely attacking their front gate video games live I haven't checked that out. Sounds cool though. Like an orchestral concert. Attack. Oh, great minds think alike, Kirito. I know what I hate in this group, and it's these dang robots that call allies. But when they're damaged, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough damage to kill them, so I'll let them have a turn first. Get poisoned. No, don't. Don't do that. It's got a gun down. Video games live. It, it counts. I'm sure it counts. Has the cell's heartbreak upgraded yet? I don't know. I rarely have to use it. But I feel like I should probably know. Let's do this on you. Look at her. I'm gonna probably wish I moved. Oh, that seems like a really good one, Interceptor. Ooh, 
Castlevania. Now, penetrate. So he has no way to impede. Coast of EGL every year. It's dope. 463, 1003. Let's finish. Well, I don't need to finish you. I have a crit turn here. What works in SE, Rainy? strike you and you finish when either these dudes are dead dead now stop me free to get turn Just didn't hit the person, so it was more like not lined away from the enemy, but just lined based on where the actual target was. That doesn't seem like that would actually make sense. Maybe they didn't change that in third chapter. Or maybe they changed it from this. But either way, it's kind of weird if that's the case. If it's a scenery spoil, I'm definitely gonna know what it is. Let's move out. So maybe someone we can just like save it for later. <laughs> you can just probably just drop it in the clip section of the Discord. I probably won't look at that till all then I'll forget it though. Damn. Ah. Uh, everyone. Good afternoon. Someone order a rescue? We're glad you're safe, sir. I still have Joshua to have you come. Those are your fellow braces behind you, I take it. We are. I am Kurt Narden. Now, manless Elfian. Nice to meet you. Let's see me explain their plan to free the Academy. Sean. How's it going, Big Sean? It's good to see you again. My friend. In El Paso. My target line spells my target is a tile. Yeah, that could be possible. Still. The team explained their plan to free the Academy. I see. Thank you. You are aware of who commands these men, yeah? Gil Gilbert Dalmore's old steward, right? I heard he was trying to kidnap Chloe. Yes, he does not seem to know that Chloe is the princess, however. He only knows that the princess can be found at the Academy. Thank you, Kirito. I really appreciate that. I'm really looking forward to that. Sort of weird, though, given that the masked pervert knew exactly who she was. The Eggers, the society you lost, don't have nearly as much access to information as enforcers do, for security purposes. Oh, Sean, that's funny that you say that. I was actually watching a little bit of a video of that earlier today. And, um, I heard it's kind of short. Like, maybe eight hours, which, I mean, is fine and a good experience, if the experience is good. But, it, I mean, it looks like it controls well story seems like it might be pretty powerful so you got the money to burn it can't hurt but it seems like it runs okay yeah I'm pretty sure interceptor um yeah I watched a little YouTube of it today it does look interesting <laughs> I doubt he's been told anything that wasn't strictly critical to their mission 
Ah, uh, good boy. That's kind of bad news, though, isn't it? If he's really that clueless, he might try and snatch some other girl. It's Dumbledore. <laughs> That's right, Sky. It is Dumbledore. A distinct possibility. I'm also worried about that. Please hurry and stop him before he does something terribly foolish. Ooh. Sean, I don't know, man. 55. That's a... It's kind of a pricey for maybe what that is. But I don't know. It might be really good. Gandalf the Grey? Is that what they call him? I haven't seen those movies. We will. I still check the names of Dean Collins and Fauna off the list. Cacao. Let's check stuff. Alright, what's in here? Let me steal you guys' lunches. I don't know. I tried to slip it in there and I said, I know, I know how you feel about that series. What's up, kids? Our legendary heroes. <laughs> legendary heroes. Because the game is called Legendary Heroes Trails in the Sky. <laughs> what a game. Hey, was wondering if you'd forgotten about us. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry to keep you waiting. Has the situation here changed at all since I came by? Yeah, actually. <laughs> I haven't watched them ever. And I played that Shadow of Mordor game a lot. So that's something. See, that makes sense right to me. But yeah, like, zero gravity, Gandalf equals... Gandalf the White. K.O. Kid. I believe you, Rainy. <laughs> that Gilbert Bozo just came by demanding to know if the princess was here. Said she received special treatment if she named herself. Urge to kill rising. What a wild goose chase. Yeah, we told him to go stuff himself. He looked pretty desperate, though. I don't know what he'll do if he really loses it. Don't worry, we can handle him. So, what should we do? Alright, sorry. Could you guys stay in here until it's safe? My friends are still fighting the Jaeger goons outside. Really, Interceptor? Is it? Oh. Uh, yeah, well, I'm glad you're excited. Doing some cleaning for your company? Alright, we will. When will send? It's a little nerve wracking, but we'll wait. We'll try to settle things as fast as we can. Hans, Jill. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Getting shot at isn't really my thing, anyway. We'll leave it to you guys. Come back once you take care of them. <laughs> I like that emote, Stardust. We'll handle everything else. I'll use Uber money to buy it. Are you saying Uber as in the sense to say that there's a lot of it, or Uber as in funds attained by being a Uber employee? Thank you. See you soon. Let's all check the names of Jill, Hans, Caden, Alice, Purity off the list. I didn't realize those people all had such dumb names. Okay, come back with your settle things. It's all Josh should be careful. Got it. Will do. The seventh one, I bet it's not the last one. I wouldn't even have to know anything about it to know that's probably not it. Damn, is that gunfire still going? Sounds like it. Doesn't look like they've broken through the gate yet. I think that's that totally makes sense right now. I've never thought about it that way. Now I'm gonna have to go back and do some reconnaissance. 
that be? Because that's a diversion. What? Intruders, what the hell? What are they doing here? Are you trying to spoil it, Sky? I might play that game one day. <laughs> I'm getting with you. I mean, I'm probably playing it, but I don't, I don't care about being spoiled. Intruders, what the hell? What are they doing here? Elementary, my dear Jaegers. We're here because we're bracers. I'm not sure that's really much of an answer. I don't like that big boy in the back. Do I need to find a remedy for you? 7,890. I mean, even I could put that one together, Sky. Is it me? Great sword wielding Jaeger. Flexible in battle, equipped with a reviving bomb. Oh, F you. Gun wielding Jaeger, got long distance and serious threat in group combat. Well, that seems like a smooth move, Sean, if it works for you. I mean, at the end of the day, it might be worth checking out. I, I highly thought about streaming it myself, actually. I know Stardust was also looking at it pretty hard. Let's do this. I don't want you to revive anyone, dude. Ain't no revivals around here, buddy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but maybe that's how he was not spoiling it. Oh, Sky, you and your layer cake of spoiler dodging. Let's hit you with a sword. Oh, that was fine. Oh, neat. Can I pull another carrier bomb? Thanks. Let's blast this one boy over here before he decides to, I don't know, revive himself or something. <laughs> wow, Joshua. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Toe. I appreciate the powerful luck chant and I will challenge and channel my best skill to complete this challenging zone. I appreciate you and I'm glad you're enjoying those bits. I think it's a neat thing to let you do that. It's fun. Okay, die slow, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty much. I really wish I probably should use Kevin more. I don't know what I really have no idea what this game is like in the third chapter. And who you're like gonna be using and who's gonna be there and stuff. Oh come on, they're close enough. Or me and him will do it. Ouchies. This stall's got a critical strike. And he's gonna try to do something. Ah, uh, get good, Kevin's on. I don't know. I've always just ordered it from their website. Because I'm lazy. And I don't go to stores in real life. Tells you a lot about me, I guess. I'll try not to make this sound sad anymore, huh? Uh, let's see. Let's do this. We can do this. I like this. I remember when he was doing this to me early in the game, like in that first battle when he was undercover. Being a real turbo nerd. Missy Missy Saga Missy Saga Missy Saga That's probably how you say that <laughs> Yeah 
The only clothing store you need is the internet, my friend. Hit him. Hit him with a stick. Hard break. Yeah, this one has not been leveled up yet. Well, you can't do any magic, but you still got this key. Well, it's fine, fine. I'll do this. I, I kind of wish he had stayed teleported after that move, or at least it was an option. Oh, you seriously, dude. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> You boys are dead now, though. Alright. Boy, Kurt, you're thirsty for uh, hit points. It's not super expensive. I think at some point Calvin Klein used to be pretty expensive stuff, but like now I see it and you know it's not much. I also went on like a sweatshirt kick. I was buying lots of sweatshirts. I don't know why. And the underwear is great. It's you guys. Everyone, are you okay? Is anyone no no one is looks injured? Good. Estelle and Joshua? Why are you two here? You know, funny story. I still explain the events up to now in the plan of attack. So that's what all the noise is. I guess I owe Mickey a royal crepe or something. But all I did was ditch class and then get lucky enough to run off. About all slackers are good for. Not now, Dennis. In this case, his actions were appropriate and life saving. Thanks to him, everyone knew to come save us. Contempt for your savior only makes you look like a churl, Dennis. I like the word churl. It makes me think of uh, Oblivion. Mer. Uh, guys, I don't know if this is the time. Anyway, we'd like for you to remain here until we're certain it's safe. Can you stay put? Well, I... I understand, all right. There it is. <laughs> Triple <and> churl. <laughs> Thank you, Rainy, for catching me when I made that leap. Please make sure everyone is safe. Leave it to us. I still check the names of Jerome, Patrick, Dennis, and Rain off the list. Saving time. Okay, we kill these people up here. New M track. I don't think so. <laughs> That's Summer Sun. The Final Fantasy VII Remake, it looks really cool. Um, I like the art. I like what they do with Aries. Aries. Um, it, look, it looks neat. I'm kind of concerned that the combat's going to be more like Kingdom Hearts than Final Fantasy XV, though. Hopefully it's more like Final Fantasy XV, if we're given a choice, but it might be Kingdom Hearts. Now there's anything wrong with Kingdom Hearts. That's just not exactly how I would imagine my Rika Final Fan remake of Final Fantasy 7 going. You guys, Estelle and Joshua? <laughs> Hi guys. Long time no see. Why the heck are you guys here? Wait, you aren't those guys, are you? Oh, come on, Logic. How does that make any sense? I bet the Bracers are here to rescue us. Exactly. Estelle explained the group's plan and how they're freeing people. Okay, sorry, rush to the conclusions there. So you guys, what do we do? Until we're sure the grounds are secure, you should remain here. It's possible you could be injured if you wander outside in the middle of combat. Uh, but, but, but if we stay here, they'll come back and capture us again. I know, right, Granny? I was like, it, it made me so confused in reading that that I thought that maybe they kind of shifted the rules of grammar when they said comma logic. As if this should be comma logic with that sort of emphasis, which isn't how that sentence was structured at all. <laughs> mm, 
Hmm, I guess it's possible, but leaving is more dangerous. You don't want to get shot by a stray round or gnomed or nommed on by a beast here. Oh, uh, logic? I don't know how I feel about logic at the, the rapper. Handless, don't scare them more than they already are. Than they are already. Anyway, that's the idea. We stay here for now. Yes, we'll keep our heads down. Good luck, guys. Good luck. I still check the names of Logic, Argyle, Monica, and Thelma off the list. <laughs> Salt production. Maximization. Are oh, you thinking Beyond's Beast because the switching between party members? I sure hope so. Like, that is an important distinction, but man, I just... I think somebody mentioned recently that the turn-based JRPG is pretty much gone. Hey, nothing wrong with that air. Well, I mean, I think FF7 is definitely my favorite Final Fantasy. I said it. I said it. I think it's up there, my favorite JRPGs of all time. Did we check all these places? Yeah, we got you guys. So we're heading out again. Oh, better than M's. Sorry, for some reason, the way this ground looked, it made it look like this game was completely glitched for like a second in my mind. Okay, I came in this door. FFA's excellent. I think that one's underrated. Um, mechanically speaking, I, I prefer it a lot to most of them because I don't like magic. So the junction, sy junction system gives you a lot of flexibility with that. To not use magic, I mean. <laughs> Which I really love. And then you get Quistus on your team, get Degenerator, and bam. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, this is the butt end of the auditorium. Got it. I was really paying a lot of attention whenever uh, Joshua was doing his thing, wasn't I? Four, seven, eight, and ten. That's an that's the old man mix right there. Who the hell are you? What are you what are you doing out here? That is totally our line. So is Final Fantasy IV the one that's also Final Fantasy VI here? I can't remember how those numbers flip over. Four, five, six, nine, and fourteen. Yeah, two, four, three, six, okay. Dude, everybody reaches that point in tactics. The uh, I think it's Dorder City where you got the guys shooting the arrows from the roof, and you think this sucks, and I might not be able to play this game. But you gotta grind through that. I think it's called Dorder City. Dorder City, maybe. That is so totally our line. You think creepy guys like you get to hang out in a girl's dorm? Wait, what? This is the room of maidens whose chastity and cuteness would shame flowers. You could at least, like, put a ribbon on or something first, you know? But I think I like Final Fantasy VIII, particularly because I like full-size characters. I think I'm sure everybody hears me say, have said it before, so I'll say it every time. I like full-size characters. I like characters that look like normal people. I don't want a tail on my character. Renault and Squall and Zed. I struggle with Zed because of his jean shorts. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of the jean shorts. Stop screwing with us. Why'd you make me think that? Jeans shorts were no go, Zell. Oh, I'm sure Rainy can tell you all about this guy. Uh. Rainy accidentally convinced me to play this guy uh, five and without even any any effort. I don't like Zidane at all, Zidane. But he has a human-sized character, which I prefer, prefer, but... No, I don't, I don't like them jean shorts, man. Those guys always have CP ready to go. Joshua sure is cool in this game. 
Like I'm saying that unironically. This is the cool cat. Smooth operator, man. Boom. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Gotta cut the man. He is the same, that's for sure. He does charge up with that hair as well. Rip. That's not gonna rip him, actually. It's gonna hurt him. <laughs> really? You're doing 13 like that? Yeah, they like definitely built you up with your relationship with Joshua and how you relied on him for everything. And before you knew it, I don't know. I would, I'd, like I said, I think whenever we had that one major stream where um, Joshua and Estelle got put together, it's like that realization that you didn't realize how much you wanted them to be back together until it just happened. That's that. Let's move out. Twelve. Twelve is the black sheep. Well. 13th the black sheep. 12's the beige sheep. Your Estelle, Joshua. Ah, uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Here's what's going on. Joshua explained the plan to the free to free the captives. Okay, I see. Ew, I think my nerves are all shot. So um what should we do? Should we try to find the others? No way, not yet. They're still fighting outside and you could get hurt. Please stay here for now and the bar door and bar the door. We'll let you know when it's safe. Okay. We'll do that. Good luck. Estelle took the names of Nikita, Felicity, and Taylor off the list. Yeah. Well, Rainy, you know, they've uh they re-released it for PS4 as a PS2 classic, I believe. People really like that game, it seems. I have it. Uh, I never really played it. Whenever I think about playing that, I think about also playing Tales of the Abyss, then I played neither of them. Well, Rainy, we have to work on that. Get away from me. So it is just Star Wars, man. We've been in here. Nope, we haven't. I remember having a hard time searching this area even the first time. The PS4 ones are hard and one to skip. Abyss. I never, um, I haven't finished the Abyss. I played, I think, like I said, one hour of stream and that was it, ever. Who the hell? Shh, can't believe we actually missed some brats. Hang on, that badge. Bracers? Quite. Nice to beat you. What? Oh, yes, endless. Go ahead and get in here. You're in the right chat. Yeah, I have to get around to playing that one day. Maybe I'll do that one for YouTube after I uh, complete Sui Coden. Then again, I probably want to play Sui Coden too. Maybe after I do Sinran Kagura, because I'm definitely playing through that one for YouTube. Nobody can stop me. What I do alone is what I do alone. Yeah, I thought it was good. She has a. She's really clever. I like I like her like I like her when she's on screen. She kind of steals the scenes. Oh oh yeah, Ren. That's such a good series. I love that. I love that series of games, man. True comment for you too. Nope. 
can't skip four. I mean, you should, but because it's not very good, but still. What's your special look like? Ooh, and on the crit turns here. Going down. Yeah, ouch, they hated that. They didn't enjoy themselves at all. Their time was made worse by my physical attack. <laughs> I mean, I'm with you on that. Like I said, honestly, I played the original Sweet Code in like for the first time many, many, many years ago. And I didn't like it as nearly as much as I have when I played it again like about four years ago. Some of that stuff like wasn't as impactful to me till I got older. So maybe I'll have better understanding of what's going on in some of those later Suikodens, Suikodens, how we pronounce that word, that name, um, when I played through them this time. So I should heal. How did it still end up with one EP? Amir, how's it going, my friend? It was good to have you here. 3K on Joshua. No, I'm not going to steal his turn for that. I'm doing all right, buddy. I'm doing all right, Amir. I appreciate you stopping by. Forced gambling. Was it really forced, though? I think you're talking about the part where you can gamble up so much where you can um, you can get that character to be a member on your squad. But I don't know if you have to do it. Or if you... Wait, nope, you do. You have to do it or else he won't help you on the boat, I think. Or lead you to the guy that has the boat. Yeah, for the boat ride. I mean... Yeah, that's painful. I'll give you that. It's not a perfect game. <laughs> oh man, no worries, man. I don't know how I helped, but I'm glad I did. And I hope you're doing well now and that everything turned out alright for you. Boom, boom. Heck how? So we did a little bit of murder in here. Ah, uh, this is the dude that's hurt been with a gunshot wound, I believe. Sweet adios. It's Estelle and Joshua. Hi, you guys. Let me explain what's happening. Joshua explained the plan to free the captives. Oh, okay. Oh man, braces are so cool. Uh, thanks, I guess. But more importantly, is this Mr. Parks okay? I heard he was shot. And that's what you do, man. That's how you get better. You know, you take your experience and you roll it into a ball and put it in your pocket. And take it with you because sometimes you can't really know what to have done until the things that have happened have already happened. So it's sort of like... Uh, like in a video game, really. <laughs> you get more XP, the more damage you do, and the more damage is done to you. So, unfortunately, that's how friendships go. But you did your best, and that's all you can do. We think so. He just fell asleep after we treated it. He said he was already wiped out from that new semester and also. Thank God he is. So his pale complex is just from exhaustion. Hmm, may I see him for a moment? Besides, if those friends are true friends, they'll eventually get back to it. Well, yeah, Rainy. But I mean, that game isn't so bad. The gambling game. Just throw the dice into the bowl at the right angle, and eventually you might get the right thing, but the scoring is kind of weird. By my hearts, be calm as ocean waves. 
Look at that. Scott, hey, Scott, you're talking it. You're doing it. Whoa. That never stops being impressive. Oh, thanks. Is that hopefully it's interesting in a good way and not interesting in the way that makes you think of Gilbert Godfrey or Donald Duck. Donald Duck's the one with the bad voice, right? <laughs> he Kurt saved my butt with that plenty of times. I'll be. He looks better than he did a second ago. Anyway, let's let him sleep for now. <laughs> Whew, thanks, Amir. Thank you so much for coming to save us. Can we do anything to help? The best thing you can do is stay here until it's safe. It's still very dangerous outside. I understand. Be careful out there. I still check the names of Rody, Roddy, Ro Rody, Roddy, Roy, and Janitor Parks off the list. So Janitor Parks was exhausted from hard working for the school. ASMR. Every stream is an ASMR stream if you try hard enough or like move your earbuds in and out. It's like move your earbuds from like the left ear to like the back of your neck. I don't know what ASMR actually is. I'm up to number five. Well, actually, you know what? I haven't polished up to five yet. <laughs> Think about it. But yeah, I've done five of them. They're about 30 minutes a piece so far. Welcome back, Interceptor. It's good to see you again. <laughs> My channel does not equal ASMR. Okay, yeah, we got everything in here. No, I should have saved. We'll find out what happens next. That voice. Do yourself a favorite. Whisper into the mic. I gotta, I gotta put some more peas inside of there. Put some more peas. Pop these plosives so you guys can have an auditory nightmare. It's that way. Beyond the Academy. There is one person left on the list that must be her. <laughs> I can say much, this much right now, Rainy. Um, if whenever that part comes in my playthrough, I'm going to definitely, definitely crop that time out so people don't have to watch me roll that dice. Throw them bones. Let's hurry. <laughs> there you go. I got to like get some acrylic nails to tap on a table or something. Where'd you hear that voice from? What was it in? In the Academy for us? No. <laughs> Rainy, this is for you. Rainy, this is for you, Jesus. Where did that yelling come from? They were pointed this way. And then they said... Oh, I can't believe I ran away. I made it. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Where does that yelling come from? So I can help these people. East. Thank you, Rainy. Now, I wish I'd known that before I'd started this particular battle, but here we are. Finish him. Did anybody play that new Mortal Kombat yet? <laughs> Ultra Instinct. That was a real bad crit fail. <laughs> Stop the hitting me with stuff, dudes. I should probably heal Kurt. Did you like the story, Sky? I'm hearing a lot of positive stuff about that, but I also don't really have much context for the, um... No context for the story. Why, Mr. Cunningham? Excellent question. 
That's because that's my last name and I'm not very creative. <laughs> that's my facts. I just couldn't think of a better name. I'm like, I like the name Cunningham. It's mine. Might as well stick with it, I guess. <laughs> you didn't like the ending. Boy, I have a lot of those. Might be useful here. Okay. Actually, I probably shouldn't have used that. Okay. So what didn't you like about it, though? Marty, <laughs> Marty McFly. I mean... Wouldn't be the worst. I think back here? No, it's a hidden dog. Maybe... Up here? That Simra showdown those look pretty dope. And, uh... Not the dorm. I like the first uh, samurai showdown a lot. But man, you know, lately, my favorite fighting games have been like the really over the top ones. Like, I really enjoyed uh, Nitro Plus Blasters. This isn't gonna be it. Or maybe it is. This is East. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, Rainy, I like your imagination. Yanshu was my teacher last name and a mere gene. It was Jermaine. That's a pretty good name. That's a good lore for your name there, I mean, I hate to use the word lore because it sounds I don't, it sounds disingenuous out of my mouth, but I'm being sincere. That's cool. Giving credit to the people that have trained you over time is admirable. A lot of times I think we forget those people. Never played Samurai Showdown? It's a very good fighting game. It's older. So, but I mean, like some of the old King of Fighters and not that old King of Fighters 13. I love that one. So, if you're going to go back and play an old SNK fighting game, I mean, Tank Up Fighters 13's it. Exactly who I thought it was. If anybody ever wants to play King of Fighters 13, let me know. I tried to go online and play that game, and um, there's nobody that plays it besides me, so. Let me know, anybody. Shout me out. Shout me out, man. King of Fighters 13, anybody? 1v1. One, one one. <laughs> Gilbert. That's close enough, everyone. MK versus Justice League. Uh, I really like the pixel art in Arany. Unless you'd like to see this young lady get hurt. No. KOF is right here, too. The art is so good in those games. Even in um, Capcom versus SNK. <laughs> Is it stream loud to make chat subs only? That's rough. I don't know. I don't think I could ever reach that point. Vice and whip. Those are good. Yeah. Kirito, me and you're on the same page. I'm going to end up posting a bunch of SNK art into the Discord today. I can already feel it now. I'm going to be on an SNK kick. Oh no, is that Chloe's friend? The fencing club member? Yes. You damnable wretches seem obsessed with getting in my way. Oh, yes. Thank you, Kirito. I'd love to see that then. Wow. That's crazy here. I don't... That seems rough. This time, I will come out ahead. I will climb the ranks of Ouroboros with this girl as my ladder. What? The side of Ouroboros is large than I'd ever imagined. Everything happened here in Liberal is but the tip of the iceberg. Our plans extend across the continent, across the centuries, across everything. Ahead is the perfect path to power, and the girl is all I need. So that's your plan. So you screw up in liberal and decide to go down a criminal organization's train instead. Gotcha. Great career advancement there, champ. 
Silence. A tiny little backwater. They love. Who was that? I think it was Rainy, maybe, or Ren. Probably Rainy that said that how much they love to use the word backwater in this game. Uh, King of Fighters 14, I didn't play it at all, but when they went to 3D, it made me real sad because I really love 13. I don't know, it probably is okay, but King of Fighters 13 is just so good. A tiny little backwater like Liberal was always too small for me. The side in all its glory, meanwhile, is a fitting stage for me to stand on. Stuzzy, how? How are you doing this? Are you eating stuff that give you faster experience? You have to tell me, or else you're the police and you're a narc. And you will not get in my way. The map of Zemo Zemuria. So, Liberal is south of Erbonia, right? I think that's what Mr. CharPG told me when I was watching him play uh, Cold Steel. I like to say good luck with that, but you realize that girl won't get you anywhere, right? <laughs> Poor ignorant fool. This girl is in fact the princess of Von Osley's family in hiding. No, I'm telling you, it isn't me. Please. The straight fools, no one at this point. King of Fires 11. King of Fires 13. I actually think I played a made a YouTube video of King of Fires 13 myself. When does this say Claudia Von Osley's favors rapiers in combat? And right now, you're the only female student in the fencing club. It cannot be anyone but you. Oh, we're in the home arcade cabinet. So you just don't show pictures of that because you don't want me to be happy? But, 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 you know, it's sad. I don't know how to break it in, break it to him. He's like a monument to bonehead assumptions. What are you talking about? Okay, then, from the top. You wouldn't happen to remember when you got captured at the lighthouse, would you? How could I ever forget? Oh yeah, check out 13. Thanks, Ren. <laughs> Just remember it makes my guts boil with rage, the humiliation, the indignity. Then you do remember the girl who was accompanying us, right? It seemed like you knew her. Yes, I remember. Chloe Ren's as I recall. That's a good point. I didn't see her among the captured students. What? Bingo! Remember how Chloe was fencing we used a fencing sword at the lighthouse? Now that you... No, no, that bleeding heart orphan lover, that ridiculous, absurd, everything I've done can't have been a waste. And now he's fleeing from reality. That's not healthy, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's all we're doing here, isn't it? <laughs> Tragic. Silence. You guys have hostages here. Regardless, I still have the advantage. If you want to see your guts covering the floor, throw down your weapons. Ah! His face has become more kickable by the second. We need some kind of opening. Ah, paralyzed with indecision, are, indecision, are we? Perhaps slicing open her face just a little will make you pay attention. Ah, here we go. Screeze up in this. They go sick. Rochelle over here. Okay. Look who's here. Scree. Whoa, whoa, what? Say, what are you doing here? Chloe sent you, didn't she? Scree. <laughs> well then. <laughs> How thoughtful. Don't make that mistake, Sky. <laughs> This is the cool. That is the coolest bird. No, this can't be. This is madness. Madness, perhaps it is. Either way, time for ultra violence. Oh yeah, I forgot to give her more EP. That's fine. It'll be okay. We can start this like I like to start every fight. Straight from the hip and cut to the chase. Yep, no, he's just like regular bad guy theme. He's got five, like six thousand hit points. This dude. <laughs> You've made a terrible mistake, my friend. I'll let Kurt deal with you right now. Nah, he can't one shot him like that. 
Dual Strike Pride will do it. No, oh, dude. Just get What was that? <laughs> that was super weird. <laughs> oh well, I guess there you go. I was hit him with a sword. Since my defenses, my stuff is down. This dude's the worst. Yeah, exactly, righty. He's doing, he has so much voice acting right now. This is what you get. Doing great, Joshua. I actually didn't mean to do that either. Her attack's down and up. Great job. And stop walking around so much. Let the fight end. Let your shame end. We do rule, Atlas. We do rule. Oh, adios. The pain. Please, I beg you, spare my miserable life. For the love of... Why do you have to be such a coward now? Uh, sort of feels like we're bullying him at this point. His choices led him to this end. Gilbert, in accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are... That won't do. Arresting would be a problem. Who's this gonna be? Oh, come on. You. The one who showed up at the mine. Campanea. Uh, good day. I've been watching ever since you entered the academy. Oh, what a show, what a show. It was a delight to watch. I didn't think there would be a last second addition to the cast either, and such timing. Scree? Sir Campanea, have you come to save me? You know, Gilbert, I don't seem to remember ordering you to capture anyone. Gold? I mean, of course you have to take advantage of opportunities as they come. If you're on the ground, you have to make the call, as they say, and I won't stop you from doing that. But if you fail, there really wasn't much of a point, was there? No, no, please. Yeah! What the hell? The flame tongue attack illusion. Just like what Luciola uses. <laughs> Mind, I'm not really nearly as good as she is. <laughs> Maximilian Pegasus. I can still roast a bad steak, though. Yarg! I did enjoy watching Gilbert make such a fool of himself. I suppose I can leave off the punishment for that this time. Ugh. Wait a second. You running again? Ah, uh, well, anyway, let me apologize for all this. You have my word that Society of Orbos will not lay another finger on this academy. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, good day and farewell. Well, there you have it. <laughs> we, we, we just gotta make it really easy. We just gotta make this a non-issue. Again with the running. Are we gonna, ever gonna nail them down? Combinay and the Fool, quite the enigma. That's barely half of it. I do think we can take his word on this, however. One can hope. Well, while I'm kind of sad he got away, I guess that pretty much settles things here, huh? Pretty much. Scree. And so the occupation of Jenna's Royal Academy came to an end. By the time the Royal Army Detachment arrived, the Jaegers at the Academy had retreated. Or we had murdered them. And thanks to the Dean and Jill's group, the students had calmed down.
All right, analysts, everyone. Thank you so much for helping us out there. Aw, uh, come on, don't be so stuffy. Indeed, it was part of the duty we share as bracers. As far as I'm concerned, we're just paying you back for the save in that lab. If anything comes up, we'll be glad to help again. We'll be counting on it. Where were you planning on going after this? Scream! <laughs> we're heading to boast through the Crone Pass. We intended to patrol the past to ensure to help ensure something like this doesn't happen again. Karna's the best. <laughs> yeah. As a party member. As a partner in the field. Good idea. Um, please be careful. Uh -huh, you too. As long as this mess keeps up, all we can do is pound the ground and try to keep people safe. Darn straight. Yeah, hey, Estelle? Mm hmm? I kind of know something when we're fighting together. The way you used to hesitate when you attacked, it's like totally gone. You're so more, so more at ease now. <laughs> Grab battle of the Karnas now. I know that's sort of out of the blue, but it kind of blew me away how much better you've gotten. Uh, hey, come on, knock off the flattery. Besides, not like you aren't loads better too, Anlis. Well, yeah, I've been up to my ears in fights lately. I don't just mean that, though. It's like you've gotten stronger somewhere deep inside. And you know what it is? It's the power of love. The power of friendship. The power of camaraderie. I got things because you found the path you were looking for in your journey to find Joshua. You've really become strong. And less. <laughs> just means I better step up my game as your rival, huh? Kind of does. If we get the chance, let's fight together, okay? Next time, it'll be my turn to surprise you. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. <laughs> Gets the power of self-respect. <laughs> Following that, Teed and Zen returned to the ruined guild house. Seg, who'd come from Grantsel, flew back to Chloe. Our sales group said farewells to everyone at the academy and departed. Quest, the occupation of Jenna's completed. Bloom and cacao, and as I'm noticing by my uptime, that means time to end the stream. That was perfect. I was like, this is like an episode of your favorite TV show that sometimes has like another episode that doesn't have anything to do with the main plot, but you like watch it like, oh, that was actually more entertaining than you thought it would be. And that's totally what this was just now. Of course, I had to give my thanks. To Kirito for the bits. Of course. I gotta give my thanks to Ricardo for the host. Sheppy for the big raid, of course. Stardust for the hosting. Sky for the host and Interceptor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for the resubscription. You guys are true for homies, true pals. And in light of the fact that we've been playing a lot of, uh, a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen here in the Discord or the on the friendship train. I think we should raid Floofy. Cause OMG Floofy, they are playing Final Fantasy fourteen right now. So thank you all again. Of course, Mini Pants is leaving. And I'll see you guys in the Discord, of course. And uh OMG Floofy, yeah. Pop that off. And yeah, man. 